Thank you, Father God, for this meal we're about to eat, dear Lord. We ask you to nourish our bodies with it. Pray this prayer. Amen and thank God. Amen. Welcome back to the Renato Family Channel, where we do appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching our videos, commenting, and liking our videos. How everyone doing on today? Hopefully good and fine. Well, today I will be making a meatloaf. And my ingredients that I will be using is three pounds of ground meat, um, 16 ounces of turkey sausage. I will be using some Lipton soup or onion soup package, some tomato paste, some carnation milk, some bread sticks, bread sticks, bread crumbs, y'all, <laughs> some black pepper, saison, garlic powder, a little beef stock, some mustard, some ketchup. I like to put a little shredded cheese in there, y'all. I also have two eggs here, if I didn't mention. And I, um, I use the carnation milk, but you can very well use the regular milk. I also have a green and red bell pepper and a red onion chopped up, y'all, to go in there. So, with that being said, let's get to mixing up this meatloaf. You can use any kind of um, sausage you want to use in there. You don't even have to use the sausage if you don't want to. Sometimes I will saute my bell pepper and my onions, but today I'm just going to only put like maybe two and a half teaspoons of the ketchup and around two and a half of the mustard. Okay. My cheese. I just get a handful. Top of my 
breadcrumbs from pouring some of my carnation milk. And like I said, you can use the regular milk if you like. So, okay. Once you have everything that you want in here, that's when you have to go in with your hands, you guys. And mix all this together. Here y'all, trying to make it look like a Milo. <laughs> <laughs> I have my oven on 350 degrees.
And you're doing gravy. You want to do okra with your butter and your flour and your oil and flour, whatever you, whichever way you want to use. Do equal parts. Two sticks of butter. Mix a cup of butter. You want to cook your flour or your roux, as they call it, until you get all the flour taste out of it. This flour I use, and y'all out here put some uh, little seasoning in it with garlic pepper in the flour. Garlic, garlic powder and some little pepper. Not much. To this you guys. I'm gonna use my other Lipton onion soup. you all cook today for supper. sure you cook that flour taste out so it won't taste that way in your gravy.
You'll notice when it's starting to um, cook out because your flour will get darker. As it cooks out. couple of people who makes like gumbo and the roof would be smelling so good when they making it. I don't eat the gumbo because they put shrimp in there and you know I'm allergic to shrimp. So y'all yeah, don't eat the gumbo though. I said one day I want to try to make one without the shrimp. Y'all never made one. So I don't know how it will come out. <laughs> I'm going to try to ask one of them for the recipe. And I'm going to add everything but the shrimp. I don't know. Does that what make the gumbo taste better? Or what? I don't know. So... That's what I'm going to do. This is starting to change colors, y'all. Meaning that the flour is cooking out good. Sort of like that caramel cake. Gotta keep a nice stir on it so it won't burn. I'm gonna mine just a little bit darker, you guys. And then we will be ready. I'm gonna use some of my broth on here. beef stock block. And this is about how I want it. I'm going to pour this in there. Hope the smoke alarm don't go off, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I don't want the smoke alarm to go off. Man. This whole thing, and probably still gotta add some more. This is 32 ounces. I knew it. One minute, y'all. Okay, y'all. I added a cup of regular water to get it to this consistency. That I like it. And everything is cooked out the bottom. Now. I'm going to get ready to drain the grease off of my meatloaf. And um, this is ready to be good. Y'all didn't even have to add no more seasoning or nothing. It's just good. Um, and yeah, I'm going to put it on my meatloaf. This is ready. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, you guys. Put it on my meatloaf. Put my gravy. It's right on the top, y'all. Put 
it's nice and moist. I got some good old bread for tomorrow. So, that's my me looking great, y'all. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have a comment, do leave a comment. Tell your friends and loved ones about what we're doing on this channel. And feel free to share. If you have not subscribed yet, what you waiting on, huh? What, what you, you waiting, waiting on? on? What, what you, you waiting, waiting on, huh? What, what you, you waiting, waiting on? on? Do remember that the Renard family love you. And God love us all. Good night.